Dock Review Pad, Export to Trial Pad. Before viewing this video on Export to Trial Pad, be sure to watch the Dock Review Pad overview video on the user interface and available tools. After reviewing your documents and Dock Review Pad, you might want to export some or all of the documents to Trial Pad to assign exhibit stickers and or present them as evidence at mediation or trial. While viewing your documents in the Documents tab, decide which folders or documents you want to export. Press the Select button. Select specific documents or folders. Then press the Export button. From here, you can export the selected documents, all the documents in the current view, or all the documents in the entire case. For this example, we'll tap on Selected Folders and Documents, which will open the Export Popover. The Export Popover has six different sets of options to make sure you can export the documents you want exported the way you want them exported. The first option is to choose between exporting entire documents or individual pages. Subsequent options will vary depending on which option you choose in this first step. If you choose pages, every document will be broken up into individual pages. So, five 10-page documents would export 50 individual one-page files. For this example, we will select Documents. The second option is deciding what to export. The default is to export all the documents. You can turn off that switch and only export documents that have specific annotations, notes, or issue codes assigned to them. This is where you might choose to export only documents that have had a particular issue code assigned to at least one page in the document. If you only want to export specific pages that were assigned an issue code, go back to the first step and choose to export pages instead of documents. The third option is deciding what to exclude from the export process. By default, any pages that have been assigned a tag of confidential or privileged will not be exported. To allow confidential or privileged pages to be included in the export, turn the respective exclusion switch off. Next is deciding what to include in the export, and by default, all the switches are on. Highlight, pen, and redaction annotations can be shown on the exported documents or selectively hidden. If the note switch is left on, any notes that have been added to pages will be included on a separate page immediately following the page containing the note. You also have the option to include the Bates numbers on the exported pages and whether to export a useful summary report. If the documents being exported have been assigned Bates numbers, the naming convention allows you to export the files using their Bates numbers. If a multi-page document is exported using the Bates numbers naming convention, the exported file name will be the Bates range using the starting and ending Bates numbers. Lastly, you can choose between exporting to TrialPad or to a folder in the Files app on your iPad. When you export the documents to TrialPad, all your documents will be imported into TrialPad in a labeled folder in the Documents tab. This process allows you to do your review in Dock Review Pad and export everything to Trial Pad. Separate folders for each issue code will be created in the Key Docs tab, and any pages assigned those issue codes will be put into each of those respective folders.